Hey, boys and girls, it's time for a brand new adventure of Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. In today's episode, Drew saves the moon. Drew was on a tropical beach vacation with his family. That's one lucky Drew. There he was building a giant sandcastle. It looks like he picked a bad spot because the tide was flooding in. Hey, why is the water so high? It's not supposed to be high tide till four. It's only noon. Oh. The ocean almost ruined my sandcastle. Well, now it totally ruined my sandcastle. Then Drew noticed something very strange up in the sky. Uh-oh, the moon is saying bye-bye. Wait a second. I remember learning in science class that the moon controls high and low tides. It's all about gravity. If the moon disappears, no more sandcastles. Drew grabbed his penultimate and he began sketching an awesome astronaut suit. I'm going to space to save the moon. Can I come too? Please, 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 please. Okay, but you need a scarf. It's really cold in space. Blast off in three, two, one. Super Drew and his little brother blasted into outer space towards the moon. They zoomed faster than a rocket ship. Then they saw it. Aliens had hitched the moon to their spaceship and they were taking the moon away. They're kidnapping the moon. That's our moon. But these weren't ordinary aliens with green skin and big heads. No, they were alien mice. Hey, we need that. But the alien mice didn't speak English and they shouted back. <laughs> Do you speak mouse? Nope, but look. They looked inside the alien mouse ship one of the mice was looking at a recipe for mac and cheese. They think the moon is actually made of cheese. Hey mice, it's the moon, not cheese. But the mice shrieked back, <laughs> which was malice for, quit trying to steal our cheese. Then the alien mice threw garbage at Drew and his brother. Rose, stop it. Yeah, you litter bugs or litter mice. Drew had an idea. We all know that mice love cheese, but they love peanut butter even more. Drew sketched a big glob of chunky peanut butter, and behind it, he drew a ginormous mouse trap. His little brother called out, Look, peanut butter, yum. Which, oddly enough, means the same thing in mouse language as it does in English. The mice saw the peanut butter and got super excited. They started singing with joy. It sounded like this. They charged towards that peanut butter and then snap! That mouse trap caught their spaceship! <laughs> then Drew sketched a giant pair of scissors to cut the moon free. The moon is not made of cheese. It's an important part of our solar system, and we need it! <laughs> Your mouse trap will open in one hour. Eat the peanut butter and then scram. Yeah, and don't ever come back to our Milky Way. Whoa! You know, the Milky Way, as in a bunch of stars, not a candy bar. Uh -huh. Drew and his brother defeated the mouse aliens. They tried to high five, but in space, high fives are. <laughs> anyway, they won! With the moon back where it belongs, the tide went back to normal, and they were able to finish building their sand castle. Moral of the story, boys and girls don't try to steal the moon, even if you really just want to make a Mackey Whack. Oh, and don't be a little bug or a little mouse. You can watch more of my adventures right here. Just click. And don't forget to subscribe, kids, and comment below. Yeah, thanks for all the awesome ideas. A bunch of you said I should go to space. Tell me what I should do next. Bye-bye.